Well, hello, this is Jimmy, and Total Nerdy Channel. We're here in Gary's Mod. We're going to look at uh, some other parts of Neurotech, and today we'll look at all the weapons and all the explosives, which are pretty much, even though this is mainly a vehicle mod. So, um, first we look at weapons. We have pulse rifle here, so it's a kind of fires kind of some pulse. It's pretty cool. Let's spawn some zombies so we can try out on. Doesn't damage too much, but it's kind of nice. Pretty simple. Uh, after that, we have the pulse gun, which is kind of a minigun. Of the same thing. And it's pretty cool. Well, then, my friends, what do we have more? We have weapons, we have blast shield, it's pretty fun, because you can go up and you can see if we're... Oh, yeah. And they only damage a few HP, while we can go in and just merge with our shield here, so it's pretty cool. Also, if we take off the shield, we have it on our backs, so I think it may even protect our back, maybe not. <laughs> we have C4. And that does its thing. We have a chainsaw, and excuse me, it's loud. I think the C4 will blow up pretty soon though. Oh god, we're heading detonation. Probably back off some more. I, th I remember it being kind of big. When will it blow up? Oh no! Wow! You see, it's a pretty big pretty big C4. And here we have the chainsaw. And we failed using the chainsaw. What happened? It's pretty brutal. And this is chainsaw for you. It's pretty fun. Let's spawn some other enemies because we have more weapons. What about the flare gun? Kind of does very limited damage, but it has a nice flare which you can fly in the shooting there. Flashbang grenade does what it does. If we're close to it, it's worse. Oh shit, <laughs> that's wrong, that's a Molotov. Uh, okay. So, uh, I just accidentally shown you the Molotov cocktail, it's pretty fun. It looks very cool though, like very cool. The effects of this game is really, of this mod is really nice. High explosive grenade. Guess what it does? It blows stuff up. Pretty cool though. And then we have Rambo's hunting bow. This is really fun. And then we can left, uh, right click. No. Oh, you click R and you detonate the arrows because apparently, haha, there is explosives in this one. And it starts burning, and then, excuse me, you will blow up. It's really fun. It is a kind of funny, <laughs> funny weapons in this mod actually. You can use this as an alternative thing. You can also repair things when they get broken, like tanks and stuff. Here we have another riot shield. 
and they just seem to be a bit confused. But you can knock them over as well with that one. Don't you love the shuriken? Well, the shuriken is kind of a shuriken, but it does uh, enormous amounts of damage. Oh no. And, I mean, you can even kill with them, which is not something they were used for. But anyways, I think they got s stuck in the wall also, and they kind of look cool when they do get stuck in the wall. Like you can see here, we're so getting zombie attacked. Anyways. We have smoke grenade. And it makes smoke. We have a sticky grenade. And you can throw them on your favorite zombie. Whoops. And watch them blow up. And this. This is the, this is the shit. And then you just right click and wait. Oh, I think we. Oh, right. Now, wait. Calling a strike. I think it will happen sometime. Maybe. Oh well. Then we have a tear gas grenade. Which kind of makes you weird. Anyhow, the airstrike will work last I checked, but there are many other things. For example, we have explosive plane, <laughs> which has a nice song. Nice. We also have ja uh, what is this? Yeah, javelin, which is pretty fun because you go like this, and when you lock on, you just left click, and it's fired, and you got him. Pretty nice explosion. Then you have mortar, which does what it does. We also have jetty shoal launcher, kind of simple. You're too close to your target. Okay, so... And there you have it. Let's spawn one of those enemies again. To have some fun. So, there are more launchers, naturally. Valid target. Well, example pre compressed thing. Which you can blow up and stuff. Interesting. A rocket propelled. What is that? Chainsaw. <laughs> what? Okay, we have a rocket propelled chainsaw. <laughs> and it just slaughters lots of them. And then we have this good old thing. Reliable and explosive. Cool explosions too. Then we also have a stinger. And we're too close to our target. And you know, they do their damage. Then we have machine guns, 
We have the Gao, which is, I don't know, it's all shiny. It, wow. It offers some good recoil. Then we have M61, which has a nice animation, animation but kind of lacks sound. This one too. And this one. What happened? I wonder. Melee, we have a knife. And it serves your every daily knife fighting needs. Then we finally have the pipe bar, which you never got able to use in Half-Life 2. But now you can. Ouch. And then we have flaming thing. Arr. Arr. And that's nice. Pistols, we have something called alien pistol. And that's basically saying, you're out. Very convenient. And the good old, good old deagle. I seem to have some sign issues. I don't know if it's only me. Many weapon mods recently have sound issues, but since I removed another mod, it's weird. So it's a it's the usual kind of CS pistols, except this one. This is weird. Then we have a wingman. What? With kind of explosive shots. Interesting. Rifle AK-42. Pretty cool. Alien rifle. I like it. Nice sight. And we have... is I don't know. What happened with my Counter-Strike weapons? Whoops. Headcrab. Sad. Oh well. The CS weapons are a bit sad for me. Here we have a pretty cool weapon. This is a Car 101. So the Car 101... I think I seen this as some weird Call of Duty game, if I'm not wrong. Well, anyways. Then we have the Hecla more than Mac P90 and that one TP and TMP. Well, Benilli M3 shotgun. Crazy thing. Flak shotgun. This is a pretty cool gun. Combat shotgun. Nice. Combat shotgun. That's pretty cool. Well, more on weapons. We have Winchester 180. Classical. Classics never die. XM thing. Then we have snipers. Oh wow. This is the inflatable sniper from Battlefield 2 or something. Really cool. Here we have with high explosive shots. What that's supposed to mean? Well, what do you think it's supposed to mean? High explosive. Well, if I if I ever saw a fancy sniper, maybe we can snipe them over there though. I don't know where are they even. Oh well.
As said, this is a fancy sniper if I ever saw one. Pretty cool. Looks so modern. Has kind of recoil suppression also. Nice. Okay. The CS weapons seem to be a bit sad. Oh, isn't this Battlefield 2 sniper again? No? And excuse me, is this a sniper? It's pretty cool though. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. No sounds, but... Hmm. Many... I don't know. My CS stuff seem to have sound issues now. But that's all the weapons, so now we can move on to explosives, which are on entities. There are like newer tech gear, like bonus and stuff, but I don't know. They don't really work. Uh, you can kind of put them on, but they kind of disappear. I don't know. Entities, neuro car, it's a car that kind of drives some weird places, I don't know. Here we have the AI flag. It will shoot you. <laughs> As I said. Well, we have lots of weird explosives here. We have uh, we have aerial mine, which will kind of detonate if you fly into it. It's kind of, you can see it up there. Dangerous stuff. Here is definitely favorite 101. We need to, we need to find the closest group of zombies. Are they here? If not, we will spawn the closest group of zombies. Oh well. Uh, maybe... I don't remember the exact reach, but this one, this is the Granatjeva. You just click it and it fires a grenade, and it's pretty cool. Bam! I love this one. And... Okay, we didn't see the explosion. Bouncing Betty, when you get close, it blow up. Okay. You can... this is a car bomb. You get into it, and then you drive somewhere, and you can kind of blow up. It goes extremely well, together with the NPC here. NPC... soldier? No. Spacecraft? Weapons. Yes, weapon. Terrorist. Oh shit. <laughs> Sad. So, more. We have lots of more explosives. This is probably one of the more crazy. Oh, it's, here's a claymore. That's not so crazy. If you walk around in front of it. Okay, if you shoot it, it blows up. I don't know. There are cow bomb. And it does what it does. It kind of blows up in gore. Nice, is it not? Looks really gross. Uh, then we have improvised things, and when you know the improvised explosives are weird. They kind of they're a new thing every time. Bomb activated. Yep. Oh shit! And what do we have more? We have. 
stuff like this one. Doodle, doodly dude. Oops, no. Okay. Wee and it blows up. Then we have oh this one, ye old cannon. This is the best weapon in the, the entire mod. You click and it fires, and it blows up. It looks really cool though, especially if you have an, you know, oops. Okay, shit. Right, we almost crashed the game. Spawn them carefully. And you can just... It's completely safe. Is it not? They're pretty cool though. So also have landmine. If you spawn a landmine, don't jump on it. But the granatjevar is really nice. Anyhow. Let's see here, what do we miss? Neurotech nuclear device. And this is also completely insane. Let's, you know, activate this and release it. And it will be going up for a big bang. Whoa! Oh shit. Oh shit. I think it's slightly nuclear. But then we also have this one, Neurotech nuclear device. Woohoo! Which may also be slightly nuclear. And... Are we? Aha! Maybe? It's not as horrible as I thought. Oh well, anyways. We have more things. We have something called weapons, missiles. And it's what you think it is. Now that one disappeared. Anyways. This is the fat boy. I think it's slightly nuclear. At least the kind of glow suggested. Missile, pretty cool. Fuel air bomb. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't see that too well. Okay, what's the fuel air bomb? There's the fuel air bomb. Oh, come on. Oh, we didn't activate it? What? Uh. Ah. Then we have fuel air bomb. Mark two. Oops. I think we didn't see the explosion because underwater and stuff. We can post one there. Smaller, but ooh, pretty cool explosion though. More bombs. Ji Jian. Mosquit. Cute little missile. Then we have Napalm. Nasty weapon. Great for grilling civilians. And it's a pretty cool fire effect though. Kind of spread out. Patriot. US Army. Oh, that was a small one. Then we have something called Shockwave. And that's, uh, well, Shockwave. Tomahawk. 
another missile. They're not heat seeking though, which is kind of sad. This is the BGM Tomahawk thing. And that disappeared. Oh well. Then we have our favorite that everyone is glad. <laughs> it's not too good. Oh, it got stuck in the ground. Uh, that's problematic. Let's fire it again then. V2. Also, they're not seeking. It's kind of sad. Oh, it's too far away. That's why we can't see some of the effects. Fortunately, we can do like this. Ooh, very cool effect. This is probably one of the best missile effects of them all. Look at this again. Bam, pretty cool. Actually, we'll just spam some of them. Whew. Well, this is uh, kind of the weapons and explosives. Uh, we also have some ground weapons, like this thing here, if you can get into it. Easier said than done, because it's hard to know where to enter it. Oh, here we have. But somewhere you can. And then you can fire missiles. And it's pretty cool and stuff. You see? And then we have similar things. Not NPC, but uh, you have NPC versions of them, of course. But where is them now? Like this one? Or this one? You know? They do what they do. You can fire missiles and lock on at enemies. You kind of need to get into the base, maybe? It seems to vary. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, uh, this works. It's nice. <laughs> you can shoot down airplanes with them. Oh well. Let's... Uh, let's celebrate with firing lots of explosive things and then we'll end the video basically that's the plan and kind of so many different places we have here so basics no civilian pack no spaceship pack missiles okay here So, um, well, I will say thank you very much for watching the Gmodism Total Nerdy Channel's little look or showcase on Neurotech. Um, it's a pretty great mod actually, but uh, it won't be updated probably, but uh, you know, it's still one of the best of its kind, so I mean, the choice isn't too much. Uh, keep tuned for more videos like this, so you should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video if you liked it, and... Uh, you can drop by and talk with some random people on Discord if you are a very hardcore Gary Small nerd. <laughs> there are lots of hardcore builders there. But anyways, um, if you would want to donate a Patreon, I will be thank thankful I have Patreon. So, thank you for watching. See you around. Let's blow off these missiles. The firework. Yeah, yeah, yeah.